Muting yourself. Oh. Folks, it's Thursday night. You know what that means? It's cacophony, not that shitty cred or game. <laughs> this is a real D&D, boys and girls. Uh, apologies to Kyle. Not really. Uh, no, folks, no. it's cacophony. Uh, these guys have been through hell and back. Uh, this was our urban campaign, and they are now out in the wilderness. So if this is your first time here, uh, that's kind of your two-cent overview. If you've been here before, you already knew that. I just wasted a few more minutes of your time. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want something cool like a throw pillow, a beach towel, a phone case, check out our store. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot on Saturday... This Saturday is full already. Uh, or Tuesday's Between the Rules talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. We will get you on. Uh, we may, may, may be doing a one shot next Thursday if uh, DM Kyle is not back from St. Louis. So, eh, you know, uh, no commitment. Just it out there. <clears throat> no commitment, uh, no charge, no fees. Uh, don't forget, if you want some cool custom dice, uh, at Pirate Dog Dice over on uh, Twitter. Hit them up. Let them know what you want to see if they can go ahead and handle that. And, of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, which is just a fragrant bounty, uh, try some Adventure Sense from Oddfish Games. Uh, Oddfish Games is also the maker of the Shine Project. So if you want to write gooder, uh, pick up their Shine product and they can go ahead and help you learn to write. Uh, coming soon, Kickstarter for... He's, he's going to shut us off, and I'm going to go ape shit off stream and kill him. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor Steve. Just throw him on the ground, because he's going to be a pest. Steve and the wheeze. Uh, Oddfishgames.com. <laughs> Folks, uh, big news broke uh, this past Tuesday. Uh, we've got ourselves a convention, MurderHoboCon.com. Uh, August 1st, one-day charity event for the American Cancer Society. Sign up for GMs, DMs, seminars, and panelists is open over at tabletop.events.com uh, slash conventions slash murder hyphen hobo hyphen con. Uh, all that shit is on our website, murderhobocon.com. That's it. That is a lot of crap to go through in the beginning, but well worth it. Oh, Check yeah. out all of our sponsors. Let's go ahead and introduce you to our cast. We will start with Daphne. Uh, Caitlin, who are you? Who do you play? Hey, happy Pride Month! It's <laughs> <laughs> the best yes. month of the year. <laughs> Rainbows everywhere. I'm Daphne, the... Sorry, wow. I'm Caitlin. <laughs> I'm like Daphne. Let's go that direction. And I am a teethling paladin, and my cat is also hanging out. Her butt. It's just like, yay pride. I like how it clips out of the video. So it's just like Cheshire Cat Tail come walking yeah. in. Just the, just the swooshing. Next up is David. Same question, different answers. Hi, I'm David. I'm a sort of regular on uh, Between the Rolls. I'm also Zadar here on uh, Cacophony, and I play Ingve in the Calamity campaign. So, yeah. Follow us. <laughs> well said. Last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera tonight, behind and in front of the camera, our producer, <laughs> Carrie, uh, who may or may not assist me in Doggess side tonight because... That little shit needs to knock it off. Uh, Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? Um, right now, uh, I am playing the Animal Wrangler, as you can see. They're sitting right next to me, wrangling. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Carrie. I usually play Camille. There you go. There we go. Um, who hasn't had coffee in like months on this campaign? And yeah, she's just tired. <laughs> Should be after our last encounter. <laughs> uh, folks, if uh, you're new or you missed last time, uh, these guys have accidentally landed in the northern country of Frecklin. Uh, not quite 
frozen land, but it is chilly up there. Daphne nearly freaking died after the trio and Aerosmith, their gnomish pilot, uh, recovered the specialized gnomish airship, uh, but a frost giant child felt that it belonged to him. Daphne nearly, nearly lost her head. Uh, the group has escaped to the Etel clan with Suki the witch. Uh, this land is filled with barbarians, berserkers, and apparently, as the party learned last week, uh, cannibal group. Uh, these guys are looking for Oric the Stinky, whom they met in Cacophony, uh, and he has more than a mild crush on Camille. Uh, in their stay with the Edel clan, Daphne has picked up a potential suitor in the form of a large woman wearing a penis necklace. Uh, Camille uh has attracted the attention of uh her mate we'll say uh zadar has attracted no one's attention which is still better than aerosmith whom everyone hates uh <laughs> you guys were allowed to stay within the wigwam community these guys aren't true nomads but they do not stay in one place for very long as uh, the frigid morning arrives uh, they had given you some skins and some furs to stay warm. Everybody roll a con check to see if that worked. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. Con 21. Uh, 19. It's up to you, Daphne, with your teeth <laughs> Yep. I, I had to get my character sheet up and stuff, but I got a lovely, lovely nat one. <laughs> uh, Daphne's going to suffer at minus two for the first half of the oh, day. Oh, you died last time. She cannot feel her feet. Apparently, uh, penis necklace woman uh, did not keep her as warm as she had hoped. Uh, as morning breaks, you guys all wake up. You are in the same wigwam. You have been unmolested, which is always a plus. And the smell of something meaty uh, attracts your attention. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to head on out and see what that colorful smell is? Yes, we will. Hopefully we're not... <laughs> these are not the cannibals, right? <laughs> as far as we know. As far as you know, the Edel clan is peaceful. You guys were treated fairly well. Uh, except for, of course, Aerosmith. Uh, Daphne, you shared the bed with Aerosmith and he was hogging the covers. He is fine. Uh, you guys are on the search for Oric the Stinky. We're told last night that you should probably head east because nobody here knows who the hell that is, but not directly east because of the cannibals. So they want to send you north through the mountains uh, and then a hard right to go east. Uh, as you exit the wigwam, everybody roll another con check. This is to see if you enjoy the smell that you are picking up. <laughs> oh, apparently Zadar does not. <laughs> I rolled, uh, what did I roll? Six. Uh, five. <laughs> Nineteen. Uh, Daphne, you would eat the asshole out of a dead rhino at this point because you are so cold. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you're pretty sure they're serving dead rhino asshole. <laughs> La rata. Smell. La rata. La Asrata. Uh, Daphne, you head on over there and you are just ready to dip your toes in it. Uh, and it tastes delicious to you. Uh, Zidar and Camille, you notice that Aerosmith is also in line for Chow. He gets up there and with a two, he spits it out again. He That's does. just rude. He did not like last night's meal. He does not like this morning's meal. He is just having a hard day. Wow. Uh, wow. He goes over and sits uh, silently and morose in the corner. Uh, 
Zadar and Camille, do you partake along with Daphne or politely pass? I nibble a little bit as much as I can not to be rude. Yeah, it same is here. Gross. Uh, <laughs> and I, I say, is there any liquid, any water, coffee, tea? Coffee. Uh, Suki, the, Suki the witch uh, calls over to one of the adolescents, one of the ones with the uh, barely mustache look, uh, <laughs> and that is a uh, that is a male. So you're okay there. Uh, <laughs> he comes over with a crude piece of pottery and offers it to you, Camille. After he himself slugs a big gulp back. Uh, you see kind of a bluish fluid uh, rolling down his chin and his tufts of prepubescent bearding. Uh, he offers it to you, gives a loud belch, uh, and... Uh, All right, I'd take a small sip to be polite. Sure. Uh, con check again. Oh, here, Weezer. Uh, Twelve. Uh, the bearded yak milk is not bad. Uh, it tastes reminiscent of goat milk hmm. uh, with maybe a, a stray chin hair or two in it. Uh, uh, Zadar, he offers it to you. Uh, I will be polite. And with a... Are we doing con again? Yep. Uh, 17. Yeah, you like it. Okay. It suits yeah. your palate. Uh, yeah. Daphne, since you already like the food, it won't really matter. If you want to take a swig of the yak milk, uh, you'll do fine with it. That's fine, sure. Uh, Suki the witch, uh, the mysterious figure that you met in the woods, uh, asks you how you all slept. Pretty um, good. I was good. Yeah, yeah fairly Thank well. You. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, uh, you are quite welcome. Uh, she claps her hands together and a couple of elderly women uh, walk over carrying furs in their uh, arms. Uh, Camille, they give you your winter wolf pelt back. It is now trimmed in rabbit fur and Ooh. looks pretty classy. Uh, they also give you uh, Bernie Sanders mittens. Awesome. <laughs> Bernie's uh, mittens. Nice. Yeah, yeah from the extra. Uh, Zadar and Daphne, you guys also get furs. Not quite as classy as Camille's, uh, but certainly warm. Uh, oh, yeah. Daphne, you'll still suffer the minus two penalty oh, on your rolls, at least until noon, until you get uh, blood to your toes. Uh, Suki asks you if you plan on seeking out Ulrich von Lichtenstein, uh, or if you've decided on something else. Um, I guess uh, pursue uh, Ulrich, uh, try to to find him. I mean, there are, other than you, Suki, you're our only contact here in Freckland. Well, did you need a guide? Uh, I'm I'm sure I'm yes I'm pretty sure we could use a guide. Nibby is of age, and Nibby will be happy to take you. Nibby is six, a male, the one with the with the blue, huh? The, the pubic beard. Yeah. Uh, he comes walking over. He's a he's a, he's a big boy. Uh, you gauge his age right around sixteen. Uh, he right. has a very impressive dagger on his belt. It has a stag horn. Uh, Suki uh, says something in guttural barbarian. Uh, and Nibby nods in the affirmative. Uh, he seems to be very gung-ho about this. Uh, she blip, blip, blip. And he speeds off and you see him wander into a different wigwam uh she says uh nibby's young uh but accomplished so he will be able to take care of himself uh he has not been into the valley of the mountains nor have any of us uh i would like to point out that there may be considerable dangers in that region it was once the land of the giants <laughs> 
Obviously. <laughs> but all in all, still better than dealing with the cannibal. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Nibby is an accomplished hunter, he is an accomplished tracker, uh, and he can take care of himself. Uh, he is not a healer, so somebody else uh, Daphne has to fondle to recover hit points for. <laughs> uh, a few minutes later, uh, Nibby comes back. He has a rather large axe, uh, almost as tall as him. Everybody wow. give me it on Arcana check. Wow. Uh, uh, 10. Uh, not shit, and I rolled a 19, and Zadar's Arcana is a 7, so 26. <laughs> I have yeah. minus 2, right? Yep. Uh, or no, dude, just the combat rule. Just combat. Oh, so it's just right. Okay, so 18. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you are quite familiar with this axe. Uh, Zadar, you also recognize it as nearly cleaving Daphne's head off. Uh, This axe appears to be, from its gigantic proportions, uh, an axe used by giants. Uh, Probably not full adult giants, more like children giants. Uh, But it is as tall as Nibby, and Nibby is about six foot tall. And was he it in, wield this thing? It was it embedded in the airship or something, or? Uh, do you want to ask? Uh, I yeah. was just curious. I'll ask. Yeah. Uh, it is a family heirloom uh, that oh, Nibby's okay. grandfather uh, took as a prize versus the giants. Very impressive. Uh, and as for Camille's question, uh, Suki. No, no, no. And not only can he wield this thing, he can spin it like a baton twirler. Wow. Uh, hey. As he does so, his cloak kind of moves back and he's got the Schwarzenegger arms. <laughs> uh, but he can spin this thing uh, with high accuracy. But you guys step back because he cannot spin it straight up and down. He has to spin it this way so it doesn't get embedded into the ground. Uh, Nibby seems to be quite accomplished with it, uh, and that will bolster your opinion of him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Certainly, uh, it's almost twice the size of Camille. Um, Speaking of bolstering opinion, um, I, I, I tell Suki, I said, Aerosmith, looks a little down he's pretty upset about his airship probably feels bad about crashing into the uh village um maybe a little kindness towards him might might help he is pig that too (laughs) i we will keep him safe if you do not want to take him we will keep him safe I wasn't sure what he wants to do. If he wants to come along or not, he's been sulking. So, okay. Um, no babies, but you can ask him if he wants to come along. Okay, uh, Zadar, you know, in her best form right now, <laughs> I'll go over and try to talk to Aerosmith. He is currently examining his airship, okay. trying to figure out what's gone wrong. Okay. Uh, uh, I say to him, uh, Aerosmith, uh, do you want to come with us as we start to venture out in the foothills? Or do you want to uh, stay at the village and perhaps work on the airship? Or I think it would be in our best interest if I remained behind and worked on this airship as long as these godless heathens do not eat me. It appears as though they eat shoe leather. I must <laughs> certainly be at least a boon to their meal plan. So if they will promise not to eat me, I will remain behind and I will try and catch up to you once I figure out what repairs need to be made. If that is agreeable well. to you. That is agreeable to me. Okay. Uh, Camille and Daphne are still talking to Suki. Do you guys have anything you want to ask her? Um, no, you aren't there. The 
anything important we need? The, I mean, how how prevalent are giants in the area that we're going through? You're with Aerosmith. <laughs> oh, 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 never mind. Sorry, I thought I was with the group. Sorry. Yep. You're muted. Sorry, I was trying to keep the dogs at bay. Um, are there any good strategies to, to defend ourselves against giants? Uh, get very small <laughs> and hide. Okay. They have no weaknesses then. Uh, they do not bend well. Okay. Hmm. They need to do yoga then. Also look up. They like to throw things. Okay. Sometimes small sheep. Do they have like a scent to them or any special noises? D12 against me. Nine. Trust D&D beyond. Is it 10? Uh, they smell like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The small animal you call pig. They smell like uh, what happens when the pig gets caught on fire. Oh. oh. Bacon. They, they smell, smell like, like bacon. bacon. <laughs> okay. It's so specific. So please, all right. That's interesting. I have had I have had bacon at a meeting with some others. The northern clans, they have those small, these small pigs that uh, roam through their woods. <laughs> and they call it bake home. Yes. Bake home. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Expanding the lore of the world. Oh, I was just yeah. talking about Ajax looking into the camera. Mm -hmm. Aww. Okay, so, uh, Zadar, you are now back. Okay. Uh, I tell everybody Aerosmith's plan, saying that he will uh, try to find us uh, when he finishes repairs. Suki rolls her eyes. Oh, good. We get to keep him. <laughs> I apologize, Suki. Uh, you know, but, I'm, I mean, otherwise, I mean... He's not that bad. We've met worse people. He can be entertaining at times. Mm -hmm. uh, he appears to have found some friends. Uh, you look over and the ladies who brought you the cloaks are over looking at him, looking at the ship, and uh, Aerosmith starts to appear to be annoyed because they are... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, well, on that note, I think we need to get the hell out of here before they... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we may be stuck light. here. <laughs> By the way, you can see your breath. Uh, there's not snow on the ground here, but mm -hmm. eh, it's a bit chilly. Okay, okay. Daphne, the walk will do you good. You will get uh, your feet moving around. Nibby uh, comes up and he addresses four. Uh, Zadar uh, hmm. holds out his axe. Nibby, protect. Yes, you protect. Thank you. <laughs> he sees your reaction. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that, that's a three. Uh, Did I try again? <laughs> nope. Uh, he's but he's gonna stick next to you. So okay. He, he just looks less than thrilled. What's he wearing? Uh, he is wearing a big, heavy cloak, much like Zadar and Daphne. Uh, yeah. you, got, you guys are wearing wolf, fox, possum combination. Uh, Camille with the winter wolf kill is wearing the white cloak, which will show blood nicely. Awesome. So I go up and <laughs> I yank on his coat. Uh, D20. Fifteen. Yeah, you you, <laughs> yank, you yank on his cloak. I say, thanks. Glad you're coming with us. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that was a six. I tried. 
He's a man of few words. <laughs> He's wondering why somebody younger than him is with you guys. Because remember, uh, the adolescents all look at you, Camille, as a child. Ah. So, I'll Daphne. I'll fuck you up, mister. <laughs> any words of wisdom to Nibby before you guys leave? Um. Daphne? He knows the area. I tell him we'll try to keep up because I'm sure he's got a stride on him. <laughs> I don't even know words of wisdom. <laughs> you have no words of wisdom? Words of wisdom. Um... Wait, an, wait an hour okay. before swimming after you eat. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just not going to be <laughs> fluid, my friend. He and Saluki... Huh? <laughs> uh, and with a three, he likes you as much as he likes Zadar. Uh, so it appears as though uh, his thirst for adventure uh, overshadows his uh, despising you three. <laughs> right. Uh, Suki says a few words in the guttural language of the barbarians, uh, wishes you well, tells you to watch out for the muta. What is Muta? Uh, Muta, uh, the big, uh, hairy, uh, flapping wings. I, you'll be fine. Oh, that thing that attacks Suki. I think. All right, okay. we've chit chatted enough. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we get going. <laughs> uh, the going is rough because there are no roads where you're going. Uh, you guys head up and out. Let's go ahead and show you where you're at. Uh, 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 so you guys crash landed here. Uh -huh. uh, then you crash landed here. Uh, right. You dealt with the frost giants here. So pretty much you guys have gone here, here. Uh, and in, in lieu of going this way, they are going to send you up through here and through the mountains. Okay. Uh, off in the distance, you see the high peaks. Uh, and you notice that uh, the tips of them, just the tip, uh, are uh, are starting to get a little bit white and snowy. Uh, you guys follow the Swipe River, which runs north and south-ish. Uh, every who wants to roll the first d12 against me? Oh, we know we know me as Ingbe is always good with that. <laughs> Eight, uh, four. Uh, Daphne, you're. Feet are really bothering you. Everybody, perception check. Do I still have my negative or no? Not just, just in combat. Uh, All right. All right. Perception is uh, 11 for Zadar. I got 10. 19. Uh, Daphne, you hear the pitter patter of feet, as in canines, headed right for you. <laughs> Uh, everybody roll initiative. Of course. All right. Uh, let's see. Zadar, that oh. is... Uh, sorry. 21. Four. Daphne? I'm taking a negative two off of this. Just combat rolls. Cool, good too. <laughs> uh, that wouldn't have much mattered. Uh, Zadar, uh, you may attack. Okay. Ooh, six of them. All right. Since I'm flanked by my friends, do I get a sneak attack? Uh, no, they've seen you coming. They've oh, seen they saw all us coming. You. Yep. Okay. All right. Zadar so will pick one out of the crowd. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 17 to hit. Yep, easily. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sorry, my computer's making noise. Uh, 
nine points of piercing damage. Nice. Uh, Nibby attacks one. He's going to attack different one. Woo! Holy shit. Uh, he son chops that bitch. <laughs> nice. Uh, it only does seven hit points. Uh, he arcs that bad boy and goes real well. Uh, one is going after Zadar. Next one up is going after Camille. Nibby. Uh, Daphne. Daphne. Nibby. Fair enough. Uh, they will attack. Uh, how many of them get to attack? Five of them get to attack this round. So Holy crapanola. All right. Camille. Uh, 14 plus 519, that'll get you. Nibby, three, miss. Uh, Zadar, 18 plus five. Uh, yeah, that'll hit, but I'll uncanny dodge. <laughs> Does a 17 get you, Daphne? 17? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Nibby. Uh, both Miss Nibby. So if you got hit. <laughs> oh, uh, you take 11 hit points of damage. Uh, for Zadar, is that halved? Uh, for Zadar, it's five. Five? Okay. Uh, that brings us to four. Wait, so what attacked me? The dog? The wolf. The wolf. How many are there? Six. Camille, you're up. So are they all in front of me? They are encircling you guys. You have one. Nibby and Daphne both have two. And Zadar has one. You will get, if you use a area uh you will get one of daphne's and yours okay so i will do magic missile okay. and <laughs> and daphne you are in the wings at the end of the round on d4 plus one. So I get five. Five total. Mm -hmm. Got it. Daphne, you're up. All right. I still have minus two. Mm -hmm. How long? <laughs> Noon. <laughs> What time is it now? I look at my son. Oh, fuck me. All right. Um... Hey, thanks, Zadar. He's the one that uh, choked on the roll. Oh, yeah, I did. I suck. Yeah, I guess. All right, I am just gonna cast Bless. Fair enough, end of round one. Uh, <laughs> Zadar, you're up, go ahead. Okay, uh, Bless is what, a D4 to add it yeah, to okay. strikes? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, uh, yes, uh, casting green flame blade Sadar is going to make a scimitar attack uh 16 to hit yes okay okay and uh let's see total of 12 points of 
uh, yeah, eleven slashing, uh, one fire. Woo! Uh, maybe. Eh, not so great this time, but still gets it done. Hell, maybe he'll do better on his damage. Uh, yeah, he does do better on his damage. <laughs> and he kills one of his. Uh, there are five left, so on Zadar. Uh, 19 plus 5. Uh, that'll hit, and I will dodge it. Camille. Uh, that's a four, so that's not going to hit. Nibby. Uh, that's a four for Nibby. And Daphne has two. Uh, 12 and an eight. Does a 17 get you? Yes. Uh, so you take the hit. Ho -ho! Boom! Big dick damage with the murder hobos. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 14 hit points of damage, Daphne. Fine, then I cast Hellish Rebuke on you. There you go. Uh, seven <laughs> for Zadar. Go ahead and give me the Hellish Rebuke. Um, 19. Do I minus two off that? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. No, uh, Hellish Rebuke you would not because that's a reaction. Uh, 19 damage. Yes. Oh, that hurts. See if that dog takes off. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Camille, you're up. Can you hear me? Because mm -hmm. my the ear part's not working. Okay. Um. So I was going to do uh, ray of frost. Alrighty. Uh, I can't believe I'm like halfway dead. Whoa! Damn. Well, it was oh. 11 and 14. 14. Yeah, yeah. God. Jeez. It's fine. You know, I've got the material to make a shield for you if we can ever find somebody who can make it. <laughs> I got that piece of the boulette. So. Mm. Yeah, I feel like at some point I should probably get better armor or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh, I got eight. Okay, Camille? That was me. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Daphne. Oh, attacking? Um... <sighs> How much stuff are we going to be fighting out here? I'm so afraid to use up so much stuff. Uh, don't forget, you're at minus two on combat rules. Yeah, but I do have my D4 icon. That's true. Mm -hmm. mm. Do whatever you need to do to save you. You know, you can lay on hands yourself if you get to. Uh, uh, I know, I know. All right. I'm just. All right. I'll just attack. So even though I got a nat 20, does that count or not count? That, that'll count. Okay. Nat 20 is always supersede all the rules. So okay. damage, damage modifier. All right. And 15, would that hit? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Well, I don't even need to do anything extra. No. Then, damage. Top of the order, Zadar. <clears throat> Zadar. All right. Zadar is going to try to Zahit with the Z Scimitar. Uh, 23 to hit. Yep. All right. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. That is 
six points, uh, followed by uh, three points fire, and Zadar sends uh, two points of fire to another one. Uh, green flame ba blade jumps. Two sends it to Camille. Okie doke. Uh, Nibby. Oh, plus four. Uh, Nibby, yeah, Nibby hits again. He's doing quite well. Not on damage, he's not. Okay. Uh, there are four. Let me roll a morale check on Camille. Nope, it's in the fight. So, on Zadar. 17 plus 523. I'm going to shield. Poop. Does 23. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. Yeah, so it hits. It hits. Uh, yeah, because I only go five above my AC. Camille, uh, 7 plus 5, 12. Well, my armor class is 12, so yeah. So that hits. Nebby. Nebby takes a hit. And Daphne. A uh, three. Daphne does not get hit this round. So if you got hit this round, uh, six hit points of damage. Ouch. Uh, Camille, yours is looking poorly. You're up. Uh, we'll do, we'll do Ray of Frost. In the winter. Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, These aren't winter wolves, so they aren't immune. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> three. Uh, three is enough to put it down. It only had two hit points Thank God. left. Uh, Daphne, you only have one on you now. You're up. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Well, I'm going to assume eight minus two, six. Not going to hit. Top but of the. 16 uh, hits? 16 does hit. All right. Can I give me time to talk? <laughs> eight damage? That'll work. Uh, Zadar, top of the order. All right. Uh, Zess Emitar. Uh, blah, 15 to hit? Yep. Okay. And let's see what that. Okay. Uh, 12 points of damage, two of its fire, and I'm going to send another one to uh, one that's close. Uh, three point, seven points of fire damage to the next one. That's Nibby's. Uh, yours is dead. Uh, Nibby's and Daphne's is the only one alive. Nibby uh, goes for the homer. Uh, 16, that will do it. Uh, da, 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 there it is. Boom! Max damage. Uh, Nibby gets all of it behind it. You hear a loud track as the spine of the dire wolf is severed, uh, the whale is abrupt and the wolf falls to the ground. Uh, morale check. That is enough for the last one, Daphne's. Yours takes off as it can does. I attack it? You can do uh, a an attack of opportunity if you want. Yeah. So I mean, I get like both of my attacks, or just one attack. Just one attack. Cat butt. I know. She's just real obnoxious. She was you. Da, 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 da. Um, 17. That hits. Nine damage. Uh, that hurts it. Uh, it yips and uh, tucks its ass and runs. 
while you're fucking around with the Fleer, da- Camille and Zadar perception check. Uh. Uh, 16 for Zadar. Mm, 12. Uh, you two notice Nibby does not. A large black wolf uh, sits on a slight ridge overlooking your progress, and it's a big motherfucker, and it leaps from the ledge and goes full tilt headed towards you guys. Nice. Okay. Uh, be advised, Daphne and Nibby do not notice this thing, and uh, it is closing fast. Oh, okay. So I see it? Uh-huh. Hey! Wolf! Look! We're yeah. gonna die! Perception check, Daphne. Nibby does not notice. Oh, fucking lunkhead. Damn it. Five? Yeah, five. Wait, can uh, you my mouth? <laughs> Daphne does not notice either. No. Oh. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Daphne roll at disadvantage. Nibby rolls at disadvantage. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, eight. Uh, nine for Zadar. Uh, that wolf closes fucking ground like you have never seen. It leaps and goes after Thor. Nebby, who is not paying attention. Uh, Nebby, no! Oh yeah, it connects. <laughs> Big time. Does Nebby stay on his feet? Please. Nebby does not stay on his feet. Great. And We're going to get somebody's the, kid killed. While mauling begins... Uh, this dire wolf is huge. I mean, isn't someone, everyone, someone, everyone is someone's kid? There we go. Not if you're an orphan. Uh, 15 is next. Daphne, you're up. All right. I don't think I'm going to keep dancing. Hmm. Did I cast surface? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I look just a regular attack that's not going to do anything. Does 22 hit? Oh, yeah. But an 8 doesn't. An 8 does not come close. 7 damage? Okay, Zadar, you're up next. Okay. Uh... Question: Since it's engaged with Nebby and mauling him, do I get a sneak attack? Yes. All right. All the better. Okay. So with that, I, I attack him with the flame weave, weaver dagger. Uh, let's see. Boy. All right. Seven. Okay. Uh, seven. Seventeen points of fire damage. Did you hit? Yeah, a twenty-seven to hit. Oh, okay. Yep. Got it. I'm uh, sorry. I'm. I meant to say that. <laughs> uh, next up are the two eights, uh, Nibby and Camille. Camille, go ahead. Okay. Seventeen. Hits. And I'm going to attack with my dagger. So, uh, one, two, four, plus two. Three piercing damage. Nice. Uh, the creature growls in pain as you strike it with your dagger. And Nibby, preferring to stay on the ground as a ground fighter, connects with his staghorn 
uh, dagger for another Murder Hobo Inc. Eight. Uh, yeah, that beast is pissed now. Uh, it, uh, let's see if it stays on Nibby. Four stays on Nibby and begins to eat him. Oh. <laughs> With a natural one. Uh, oh. <laughs> so I mean he eats his own foot. Bites at uh, Nibby's head and goes plunging into the mud. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Going to do another dagger, dagger attack. Uh, 16 to hit? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sixteen ahead with a total of two, four, six, and uh, twelve points of fire damage. Got it. Uh, next up are. Oh, you know what? I went out of turn. Daphne, you're up. Excuse you. Oh my god. I don't even think that's going to be <laughs> I definitely, I miss. I don't do anything. Is it a one? Uh, Well, it's 10, 11, and minus two. And I'm right. like, I don't even think my D4 would help with this. Nope, you missed. Uh, Camille, you're up, as is Nebby, who okay. is staying on the ground, and he's going to okay. punch the stag dagger in. So... 19. Easily. Okay. And... Ooh, man, that Nebby's an ass beater. Four. Uh, the wolf be hurting. Bad. Uh, this round, it goes after three. Daphne, it's going to snap at you. Yeah. Uh, with an 18 plus six, 24. It is going to put the chompas on you. Uh, another murder hobo. I, those things are rolling hot. 11 hit points of damage, Daphne. Jeez. It chomps down. Zadar, you're up. All right. Zimitar attack. Uh, 20 <coughs> to hit. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, nine points of slashing damage. Nice. Uh, da I went out of order again. Daphne, you're up. Um, uh, how injured does this wolf look? It's pretty bad shape. All right. All right. Uh, well, hopefully, I guess I don't have things. I can do that. Maybe. Okay. Uh, uh, I attack first. All right, cool. What is a 16 hit? 16 does it. All right. And then oh, I'm also going to use Divine Smite with that. That'll be the end of this thing. So, All right. So it's going to be seven damage plus. Eight damage. That's enough. Down it goes. Uh, Nibby performs an acrobatic feat where he flips himself over onto his feet, still holding his stag antler dagger dripping in the blood of the creature. What else? Uh, looks down, uh, looks at you guys, whips out the axe, and... 
right through the rib cage, reaches into the rib cage, pulls out the still beating heart, and oh. offers it to Daphne. Yes. She did the kill. Do it! Do it! Take it! Take it! <laughs> of course I do. I'm like, this is like the most beautiful thing ever. This is what we do in my culture back home. Yeah. Give me, give me a uh, con roll, please. All right, Khaleesi, <laughs> eat the heart. <laughs> Six. I knew I should have rolled in person not on this. Uh, you uh, choke on the blood, the salty blood, so not exactly the best meal you ever had. Uh, odd even, he will offer it to one. Camille, uh, do you want to take a bite out of the heart? Do it, do it, do it. Peer pressure? No. <laughs> uh, he offers it to Zadar. Uh, yeah, Zadar will take a bite. Just reach in and try to pull that sinew out. So, yep. do I have to roll a con check? Yep. Uh, okay, nineteen. Okay, uh, it's fine. Uh, he pulls off the aorta and slides his tongue through the center of it <laughs> and wiggles it on his tongue, and then he takes it. He marks his forehead uh, and throws it to one side. All I'm uh, saying is, you know what? You're reading a little too much into this. It's just a fucking wolf. <laughs> just saying. Uh, it was the leader of the wolves. I it, don't care. We fought shit bigger than that. Uh, he looks at each of you and says, Points at you guys, points at the wolf. Uh, go ahead, skin it. It's yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't want to wear it as, like, I want to wear it as a cape. Well, there's, like, six others. Uh, yeah, like, I want, like, the hood, like, a hood, like, the wolf head of my hood. Sure. Uh, he nat 20s it. He goes nice. to town with his stag dagger, and he whips out a huge... Because this is a big wolf. This is a huge mm -hmm. wolf. Uh, he has himself a Jon Snow size cape. Nice. That nice. motherfucker's big. Uh, Daphne, you go up to the first of six wolves. Go ahead and give me an animal handling check. Um, bum, 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 bum. We're gonna the hell? <laughs> oh, her dice case. No. Oh, yeah. Cute. My unicorn. Aww. It's pink on the inside. Just <laughs> like the wolf. <laughs> no, they're red on the inside. 20 not natural? Yeah. Uh, you uh, cut open the wolf and go ahead and manage to unpack its brain from it. So now you have a little bear head cloak. Um, the ears. Get can we carve some wolf steaks out of these bad boys? And sure. Zadar can make a bonfire. I can create a bonfire. Everybody, D12. Uh, let's... Ten. Oh. Two. Ten. Ten. Four. Very good. Uh, Zadar, you're making a bonfire? Mm hmm. Very good. Uh, you carve up the steaks. You make the bonfire. Uh, Nibby comes over and kicks your fire apart. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, because oh, he doesn't want the giants to know where we are. He's guttural. <laughs> giants. And he points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I. I think I understand. Do I look to where I'm going to look to where he points? There's a giant fucking footprint in the mud. Oh. I tell him. <laughs> I do the... Oh. <laughs> okay. Two, he looks at you like you're fucking retarded. <laughs> hey, I agree. <laughs> so what time uh, of day is it? It's almost noon. Thank goodness. I'm okay. kind of beat up, so... Yeah, that was the whole reason of the bonfire and the wolf steaks, but hey. Okay. You guys want to take a short rest, or...? I would like to, yes. Yeah. Who wants to d12 against me this time? No, I will, even though my rolls have sucked. <sighs> Two. Uh, 
to. It begins to snow. And... Daphne, you start to feel your toes again. You're starting to get circulation in there. Uh, the snow is light. Uh, it is covering the limbs of the fir trees in this area. But when it hits the ground, it, it's not quite sticking yet. In some spots it will, but in most spots it will not, indicating ground temperature still a bit high. Take your short rest uh, and go ahead and uh, do your hit die rolls. Okay. What is it for a rogue? I think a D8, right? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. This is D8. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, five. What's it for me? Oh, that helped one. <laughs> Hey, one is better than none. <laughs> wow. You, you can roll half your hit dice. Oh, so half the hit dice. Half your level. Oh. Or, okay. or you can just roll one of them. Oh. Because oh. you guys take another short rest. Uh, ba, ba, ba. <clears throat> All right. That's bad. All right. Maybe he's fine. Of course he is, lunkhead. And I'm just going to casually lay hands on myself because they'll need more help. Cindy Lopper. How is that? <laughs> but not safe for work touch. Oh, man. Okay, after about two hours, you guys are feeling a little bit better. Daphne now can feel all ten of her toes. Nib Nibby is... Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you guys head out. Uh, you guys reach the base of the mountains at uh, dusk. Uh, Nibby. Okay. So, yeah. build shelter and eat. So, okay. Uh, so he scouts around, picks a, a small clump of pine trees, uh, moves into the center of the pine trees and essentially fucking disappears. <laughs> comes, ba comes back out. Okay. Follow uh, you guys move into the clump of trees. Uh, there is a slight gap in the center, but for the most part, you are totally surrounded by conifers. Uh, uh, fire. Yes. Yeah. Uh, create a fire. Okay. Uh, the smoke tendrils go up in between the conifers. Uh, he checks it. He's happy with it. Uh, he builds a simplistic uh, lean-to out mm -hmm. of some dead branches as he goes out and forages for stuff. He comes back with uh, four long uh, hairs. Does oh. he want some help? <laughs> he's, he's carrying the... He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like doing the heavy lifting here. Uh, he does not care for any of you guys so far. Okay. So, uh, well, I know, but still. He brought, he brought us rabbits, though. So... Well, he doesn't want to carry us around because we're weak from lack of <laughs> Exactly. He takes out his stag dagger, puts a little slit just above the bunny tail, and then whoop, Zip. un unzips <laughs> it. Uh, comes out nicely. Uh, the bunnies were already dead, so not a big deal. He throws them towards the fire at six Daphne. Uh, mm. Daphne, apparently he wants you to cook. Me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He doesn't know any better. I'll be like, all right, I'll cook in the way of my people. Just seriously outside. Do you want some help? Sadara <laughs> can cook. 
We can lay it on the rocks next to the fire. <laughs> yeah, uh, right? Nibby disappears, uh, comes back with some more uh, branches. Uh, nothing serious, so you guys aren't really sure if you'll be able to make it through the night with the fire. Uh, he points at three Zadar. Um, signaling watch or cut? Looks like uh, chop trees. Chop trees, yes. You guys yes. got chop trees? Uh, give me mm -hmm. a d20 roll, Zadar. That, you know what, Zadar? Give me a percentage roll instead. Because <laughs> we know there. I'm good at those. <laughs> All right. Ninety-nine. Okay. Uh, you guys get a tree uh, felled, uh, get it split up. By the time he comes back, wow. Daphne, did you burn the rabbits? Did I burn them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we, what do we... I roll for cooking? Do a survival roll. An eleven. Uh, he comes back. Uh, he and Zadar have plenty of wood, it appears. Uh, comes, looks at it, reaches into the fire and grabs his. Sets it down, sticks his dagger through it, and he starts eating it. And he, he's just kind of sitting around looking uh, at you guys. Awkward. Uh... <clears throat> He doesn't speak common, right? Just broken common? He's, he, so far his vocab vocabulary has been shown to be about 10 words. Mm, okay. What does they speak what? They even uh, speak anything? They, they speak a tribal guttural language. Well. Um, so I guess I go over next to him and I'm very tired, and so I just grab his calf and lean over and go to sleep. <laughs> He's like, little child. <laughs> he moves his leg constantly. Oh. <laughs> oh you're such an asshole. It was a seven. Say, <laughs> asshole. I'll entertain him with some minor illusions, like kind of recreate our battle with the wolves and all that. Wait, are we taking a long rest right now? That's the end of the night. Uh, you create a magical illusion mm -hmm. of wolves. Uh, not big. No, I'm talking like, like, you know, just out of fire tendrils and stuff like that. So. Sure. Uh, Camille, you are thrown across the camp as he comes up and wings his dagger at the uh, illusion. Oh. oh. <laughs> then looks at it, grabs his axe. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Fucker's never seen magic before. Oh, Let's okay. Just, can we leave him here? Can we and just go on? I, I tell him, and I wave my hand and send it away. <laughs> A two. Oh, he doesn't like that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Kind of huddles up, moves his big black uh, hide over himself. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I do this, and I go... You know who I'm imagining? Bjorn Ironside from Vikings, man. <laughs> Bjorn would be smarter. <laughs> um, so he's... Um, you sleep, I watch. Okay. Uh, he leans back. His head dips down a little bit. His axe is up and over his shoulder. And pretty soon, he <laughs> is unconscious. Can you trust us enough to keep watch? Well, Apparently. Sadar volunteered, so. <laughs> uh, still. 
Uh, so now our D12. Uh, Eleven. Okay. Snow is still falling. Who's taking second watch? I will. D12. Okay. Eight. Snow is falling heavier. Daphne, D12. Oh, no. Watch. Well, we're keeping the fire going, so. Eight. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that snow is really falling. <laughs> really coming down. Uh, there's about three inches of snow on mm. Nibby's head. Uh, first crack of light, Daphne. Uh, you notice Nibby. His hair is falling out? Oh. It's the snow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no. Uh, he, I think uh, I've dealt with snow before. Yeah, but he was asleep. He didn't realize it. Uh, he throws another uh, hunk of wood, the last piece of wood, onto the fire and then relieves himself on the other side. Uh, uh, of the camp, right? <laughs> of the camp. Uh, <laughs> Then he hikes himself up, looks back at you guys, steps out into the snow. Uh, he's gone about eight minutes, uh, and he comes back with two possum. Oh, okay. Possum stew. Possum. Throws him to Zadar. Possums oh. do not taste okay. good. Okay. Just saying. Um, you yeah. eat them. Hey, it's survival at this point. So Z Zadar can cook. You know, he had his cooking lessons. So um, do I roll with like advantage or something? Survival or? No, you cooked in a school. You're over a campfire. <laughs> no, with the Talosians, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All that right. was in a kitchen. Oh, or no, okay. that, no, that was, that was, well, that was still food preparation area. Yeah. So I'll give you a plus two. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, survival or? Mm -hmm. Survival. Okay. Ooh, all right. Um, let's see. Survival. 15. Ah, food's, food's okay. <clears throat> it's okay? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay to him. Uh, you guys can roll con checks, see how you guys like it. Eat it. <laughs> 13 uh 14 11 that's okay you had better uh mm -hmm. he kicks the campfire out uh okay motions uh do any one of you want to lead or do you want to let him lead you are at the foothills the mountains are ahead of you so no, i if... say hey i need to go to the bathroom too can i lean against you <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, okay. He extends his hand to give you something to lean on. Oh, well, that's oh. nice. <laughs> that's so. That's very nice. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. Let it flow, uh, baby. We do our <laughs> business. <laughs> we move on. We uh, color purple it and. Uh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that flat rock. Uh, you guys want to let him lead, or do one of you do one of no, you? Now he can lead. lead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the snow is about a foot deep outside the ring of conifer. Everybody, give me a perception check. Uh, nineteen. Twenty-one. Fifteen. Uh, you notice that the clouds are forming over the mountain. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Hmm. Uh, okay. you, you begin to trudge up the hills. Uh, there are signs of canines passing, i.e. wolves. Uh, you can see a nice bird plummet where it 
fell upon what might have been a rabbit and just left that impression in the snow. <laughs> Face uh, plant. You hear uh, birds off in the distance and you see large, large hawks circling the looming peaks. Uh, there is a gap or a pass, if you could see it. Uh, and uh, Nibby goes in about 200 yards, stops. Oh, no. Does it smell like bacon? Does not smell like bacon. Uh, this is as far as he's ever been. Mm. Uh, okay. So Nibby signals uh, to trudge forward. As you trudge forward, you can hear rocks and shale sliding off the looming peaks. The ground becomes uneven uh, and difficult to traverse because there is about a foot of snow on it. And then it starts to snow some more. Uh, this is not Donner Pass yet. At least <laughs> As you guys trudge upwards, uh, it is slow going. Daphne, you're the only one to not D12 against me. Go ahead and do so now. 11. 8. Oh, why is this going? Uh, where's my D4? Everybody hears. And a rock plummets towards Camille's head. Oh. Being attacked by giants now? An eight plus four is 12. Ouch. Yes. Is there anywhere we could, like, take cover? Only a glancing blow with two hit points as the rock skitters off your dome. Uh, Camille or Daphne, in answer to your question. Yes, there are several smaller rocks in the pass. Uh, you may be able to hunker down, uh, or it may be your last stand at Fort Apache. Your choice. Uh, Nibby looks at you guys for guidance. Run or stay. Um, run. 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 <laughs> run, you fools. Fly, you fools. So we run. Right. You guys take off running. Everybody yeah. give me... Dex checks. Okay. All of us? All of you. Oh, boy. Uh, Zadar nat 20s for a 24. Hey. Maybe nat 1s. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 19. 19. Uh, you three managed to dodge the sharp rocks. Nebby, not so much. He falls to the ground. You hear his axe clatter. Uh, everybody, perception check. Uh, 19 for Sadar. 18. 14. Uh, everybody sees uh, large furry creatures with wings. Moving in with rocks, they are the size of gorillas. The flying monkeys? And there are four of them, flying apes. Wow. E everybody roll initiative. There we go. 17. Uh, 15 for Zadar. Nine. Another nat one by Nibby. Uh, the flying apes uh, split off one on each of you, and their initial attack is dropping a rock on your head. So, on Camille, uh, 12 plus 5, 17. Uh, 18 plus 5, Zadar. That hits. 10 plus 5, Daphne, 15, miss you? Yeah, Daphne. I think 15 misses. Daphne. Daphne. Um, wait, sorry, what? 15. Does Eight, a 15. Are you going to hit me? Oh, no, it misses. Uh, Nibby takes the hit. Oh. Anybody who's been hit? 
six damage. Okay, so three for Zadar because he'll dodge that shit. Uh, cannot dodge because of the rock. What? You what? are even a rogue. <laughs> you, you, uh, you know what? I'll let you, but you've got to re-roll. Uh, no, that's all right. And if you re-roll, <laughs> it's double the damage. No, you, no, 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 no. You are no. in a rocky. Area. I know Frank's rules. No, that's not a rule I want to be on the bad side of. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, we'll start with 17. That is Camille. So are they still in the air? They are in the air coming down. So I want to do pulse wave. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that's going to hurt. So uh, That's a three. That's going to hurt a lot. Two, three, four. Nine, this is a cone, two. isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, the pulse wave. And one more. Okay. Let's see how this works out. So. 30 foot six, cone. Seven, 11. Oof. 11. 5 is 16. And 5. I'm going to get all four of them, too. 19. Wow, everybody fails. Uh -oh. uh, three fours and a nine. Uh, they get blasted 15 feet back. They will not be in melee range. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Uh, I'm going to fire Firebolt at him. Uh, one of them. Uh, 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 13 points of damage. Fire damage. Uh, next up is Daphne. Oh, they're so far away. Um, Has to be ranged attack, Daphne. Yeah. Why don't I have spells to do things far away? <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I'll take one. Um, pallet, do, do paladins have a ranged attack? Uh, Spell-wise? No. Not her. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna cast divine favor on myself. Okay. Just on yourself. I'm a self. Okay. Uh, Debbie uh, is gonna pick up a rock. Oh. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen does hit. Oh. Oh. What? Six damage. So Nebby means business. Uh, new round. Uh, They're going to fly back with their movement and go with an attack. So on Camille. Uh, four plus, no. Zadar, 15 plus 5, dirty 20. Camille, 12 plus 5, 17. Nebby, 7 plus 5 is 12. Uh, 17 get you, Daphne? Yes, it does. Dirty 20 gets you, uh, Zadar? Yeah, Dirty 20 does. Uh, 2d6 plus 3. Uh, not that good this time. 10 damage, each of you. And then I cast Hellish Rebuke on him. Fair Another enough. Uh, you can take half, Zadar, at this point in time. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. 20 damage. Yikes. Does it also include the divine favor? No, because it's not like a weapon, right? It's just Correct. Like fire. Okay. 
that was them. This is you guys. Camille, you're up. So are they... <laughs> so are they still in the air? Nope. They used their movement and landed, and they are attacking you with great swords. Yeah. Kind of got got sad for a second. That gentleman just passed away this past week. Who? The guy that sings "Hooked on a Feeling." Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So how many are there? Four. But the battlefield is now quite crowded. Uh, are, they, are they still at range or they're up in our grill? They're in your grill. That was a melee attack. Okay. Um, I will... Hmm. I will cast Mage Armor on myself. Fair enough. Uh, Zadar, you're up next with a 15. Okay, 15, I am going to Flaming Scimitar, this guy, with a green flame blade. Uh, 22 to hit? Yep. Okay. Uh, on my primary target, it takes uh, 10 points of slashing and fire damage, and the one next to it takes uh Seven points fire damage. That would be uh, Nibby's. Uh, Zadar's, yours is dead. Uh, next up is Daphne. Hey. Does a 15 and 19 hit? Uh, both hit. Alright. You and your toilet dice. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So, I know it's a lot. 17 damage plus 2 radiant damage? Dead. Uh, Nibby. <laughs> Does he like cleave one? He cleaves somebody. Oh shit, he rolled a one. He cleaves Zadar with a two. <laughs> oh. uh, Zadar, you're about to feel the pain. Oh god. Eh, not bad. Uh, five hit points of damage. Not too bad. Slashing as he slashes you open nicely. <laughs> Top of the order, there are two left. Uh, Camille. Six plus five is 11. Nibby. Uh, 15 plus five is 18. Nibby's going to take the hit. One and a two, so six damage to Nibby. Uh, Camille, you're up. You've got yours, who's still about half health, and Nibby's is on its last leg. Mm. We'll do a magic missile. <clears throat> and... <sighs> Stupid cards. I think you get four of them, don't you? Uh, three. D4s. Uh -huh. Yep, nice. she does. I got the same spell. Where are my fours? Oh, the hell is Jim's magic missile? So, two. Uh, I think Acquisitions. One. Mm -hmm. I think one of them backfires. <laughs> yeah. Three. Or has a risk. So four, three, and what? Two, one, and three. Got it. You light him up. Uh, Zadar, two left. Oh, okay. All right. And they're still up in our grill. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Scimitar attack. Uh, uh, dirty 20 mm-hmm. to hit. Okay, seven plus sixteen. Okay, sixteen to one and uh, ten to another. Fire damage. Uh, Nibby's is down. Uh, Daphne, you're up. The only one left is Camille's. All right, so I guess I'll go after Camille's. Maybe. Or I go after him. 24 and you got your dirty 20, not natural 20. He's dead. He only had one hit point left. <laughs> oh, my. <Nice. laughs> A thunderous wave hits above your head as a minor avalanche uh, oh. teeters down upon you. Uh, there's not enough snow to bury you, and you quickly realize that Nibby dives for cover, yelling, Mooka. Okay. Uh, a second later, a large serpent with wings shoots through the pass over your head by about 12 feet tall, covered in whitish grayish skin. It appears to be a white dragon are we in like the valley Man. Is this, like bad thing you're in the mountain pass so so how old of a white dragon are we talking about are we talking ancient or yeah could like, not like, tell it came from behind you okay is this what they call muka that's what uh nibby's saying i thought okay. muka had fur or something um, I, th- I think white dragons have like a little tuft of whatever, so I don't know. The never ending story. Are you guys going to uh, remain standing? No, no. duck. <laughs> Everybody yeah. roll a d20. Make sure you don't crack your skull on a rock. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Seven. Th- three. <laughs> Seven. Uh, Camille and Daphne. You dive for cover, and there is a rock right next to your head. Zadar, you caught yourself in the face for four damage. Oh, ouch. That's going to hurt. The snow is coming down in earnest now. Uh, The dragon has come up from behind you and is climbing ahead of you into a cloud bank. Uh, It screeches one more time, and then an eerie silence falls over the pass. Uh -uh. Uh, You hear crunching of snow behind you as uh, your guide, Nibby, stands up. Mooka. Brave man. That's Mooka. (laughs) uh, Yeah, I'm kind of like patting my face (laughs) and all that. Okay. So I guess we should take cover. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, uh, scars are attractive. So, for how long? <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, there's no cover or anything like that? Investigation checks. Okay. <gasps> oh, all of us? 26! <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Uh, thirteen. Fifteen. Uh, Nibby sees what Zadar sees. Camille and Daphne do not see anything other than stones. Zadar, you have successfully spotted a fissure in one of the mountains. <clears throat> um, so there is a small cave there. Okay. I point to the cave to Nibby and kind of, you know, alert Camille and Daphne. Not loudly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> C- 
Kaka, Kaka, look up here, look up here. <laughs> the uh, uh, crevice or fissure is covered in silky spider webs. Oh, uh, this again. Seriously? Huh? Great. We're in the lair of Shelob. <laughs> I don't like spiders. Spiders! <laughs> Anybody have uh, a raid bomb? Guys. Uh, like tiny Nibby, N Nibby starts walking that way and turns around. <sighs> yeah, you're home. like three times my size, dude. He reaches over and picks you up. He <laughs> cradles you like the football. Oh. <laughs> Let's see nice. if he uses the right amount of strength. Oh, I hope so. Eleven. Yeah, he does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, well, I nice. pat his arm and say, thank you. You're welcome. He can't oh. say you're welcome. Yeah, oh, he can. can. Yeah, oh. he can. can speak common. Okay. <laughs> Ten words, but it's common. <laughs> All right. So... Mr. Miyagi said thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to go in first? Uh, well, I guess the Dar will. Knock down the spider webs. They're mm -hmm. pretty thick. They're like Gilligan's Island kind of thick. Uh, there's little tiny spiders in them. Uh, okay. So your assessment, your initial assessment is that, uh, eh, you know, it's probably just these size spiders. No. Uh, the is, <laughs> right. Uh. The crevice is irregularly shaped and Nibby uh, has a little bit of difficulty. Uh, he sets Camille down and he's kind of doing the tango or the lombada or the limbo uh, to get around. It is a narrow, irregularly shaped uh, passage. Everybody roll perception. Yeah. <laughs> my life, I rolled for perception and I failed. Uh, 23 for Zadar. 15. 21. All three of you notice uh, a Big, big streak of green on these walls. Oh, no. It could be poop or slime. Don't lick it. It is copper. I was say, maybe they just hate it. <laughs> it's copper. It's a huge copper deposit. Wow. This would be perfect for some new armor. All I think. If we had time, but we don't. <laughs> and, if, and if you had a dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Okay, why don't we have a door? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, with that being said, uh, the fissure continues to shrink oh. uh, to the point where even Camille cannot move forward. Okay. Uh, it smells mm. like bacon. Oh, there's no fucking way of frost giants in here. <laughs> None whatsoever. There is a large bone at the very back. Oh, no. Looks, looks like it's been gnawed on. Oh. Uh oh. Other this... than that, the cave just kind of freaking ends. Okay. This cave wasn't big enough that a dragon could fit in, huh? No, not even remotely. Okay. I, it was barely big enough for uh, your guide. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was just like, how'd this big bone end up in here? Okay. So what do you want to do? It was an animal and the animal died and they were just like inside that animal. Um, you, would, you would need to do a uh, medicine check to see if it was an animal bone. Do I do that? I do that. Okay. A medicine check? Mm -hmm. There, found it. Anatomy. Oh my God, eight, definitely won't know. You have no idea. <laughs> it's definitely bone. Okay. Nibby takes a look at it. Um, he's gonna take it. Wow, I thought okay. he was gonna use it as a back scratcher. It. Exactly, back scratcher. <laughs> back scratcher. <laughs> oh, so, uh, Nibby's just looking around at you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the, all we can do is shelter, I guess, till Muka goes away or something. Unless someone's got really good animal handling and can like train that dragon. 
Mook, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and try that. Uh, Mook has already flown off into the clouds. Oh, okay. So, okay. So it's it's been oh, a while at this point, right? How long do you want to wait inside? It's been a while. Um, not 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 too long. Twenty minutes. Yeah, fifteen. Are we like trying to wait out the snow or something? Or are we gonna get like compacted in here? Uh, I I say. 20 minutes tops. Okay. I'm going to go more towards the end of the cave where we came in and wait there. Okay. Uh, You do not notice anything passing. You do notice correctly. The snow is continuing to fall at a rather substantial rate. Mm. Uh, So going close to the exit was a wise choice. Otherwise, uh, you ran the risk of being in an avalanche. After 20 minutes, uh, there is no more passing of the Muka. Okay. Uh, more snow has fallen, and it doesn't have any signs of retiring soon. Okay. Uh, continue up the mountain. Uh, you follow Nibby's lead, whatever he wants to do. He's the uh, survivalist. Uh, Nibby will go ahead and cut a swath through the snow uh, with his heavy cloak and his big, thick, tree trunk legs uh you guys can all follow in his trail and you begin to trudge up uh with the heavy snowfall the sun is obscured so it is quite dim especially since the sides of the mountain begin to close in on you and the pass shrinks uh after about four hours of trudging seeming like it was eight hours you're pretty sure you're going to die at dusk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, who wants to D12 against me? I rolled last time, so I'll do <laughs> the it. time before last. Okay, Daphne, go. Seven. Come on. It's a one. God damn it. <laughs> the snow continues to fall throughout the night. Uh, uh, Nibby. Shelter. Everybody roll investigation. Uh, 18 for Zadar. 12. Uh, 24. Daphne and Zadar find reasonable spots to camp, and Nibby goes with the even. Daphne, uh, he has selected your area that you found as the campsite. Uh, there are conifers uh, sparsely decorating this mountain pass, which is going at a rather steep elevation. It's like the Price is Right game, uh, <laughs> but you are still below tree line. So there are some trees there. Uh, he looks at you guys. Fire? He seems to be concerned uh, on doing a fire, but wants input. Um, uh, like I'm where to put the fire? Mm-hmm. No, you guys are fucked because uh, there's just a, this overhang so. that you have found. Uh, so there's no cave that you can hide in. Uh, it's just a slight overhang. Mm-hmm. So I guess um, we all have to huddle like, together for warmth. I would say, should we make like two fires? So there's like a fire like further away from us than our fire. So in case the fr- on fire gets like attacked. Who wants to do the percentage roll? Not me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let a percentage roll to me, huh? <laughs> you did good last time. I believe in you. Uh, thirty-seven. Yeah, there's yeah. not a lot of trees here. Uh, you're gonna have a small fire for an extended duration, or a large fire to keep you warm. Uh, I. How long would the large fire <laughs> last? Not as long as the small fire. Small fire, then. Okay, you guys make the small fire. Who wants first watch? 
Um, okay. D12. Three. Take second watch. Coming up. D12. Four. <laughs> Third watch, Zadar. <laughs> you keep rolling. You rolled a 12, didn't you? I sure did. Four. <laughs> I beat all three of you. All three of you need to roll a D6. Ugh. This is going to be exhaustion, isn't it? <laughs> three. Oh, four. Well, I also got three. Uh, ten inches of snow fall overnight. Did you? Uh, add, oh, god damn it. <laughs> it blankets the pass. You now have almost three feet of snow in the pass. Wow. Uh, it is going to further slow your progress. That's okay. We can just stay here and rest <laughs> Yeah. with a fire. Well, D who wants to D12 against me? Oh, no, the fire went out. Yeah. Uh, what the oh. hell? You got 33%. Yeah. Who's D twelve and against me? Uh it's a Darwell. Uh ten. The snow stops falling as the morning sun starts. Uh the pristine blanket shows no signs of any movement, including small game. A large growl from the stomach of Nibby is heard. And he looks forlorn. As he checks the barren landscape and notices, ain't shit moving. Uh, mm. It'll be a hungry day. Uh, you guys should still have wolf steaks left, but you will have to eat them cold yeah. to start the morning. Everybody roll a d20. Okay. Yep. 13. Seven, 17. Uh, even Daphne gets at least a modicum of uh, nutrients out of the crappy flank steak. <laughs> uh, and make wolf tartar. <laughs> uh, Nibby looks at you guys. And... Uh, proceed, I guess. The going is going to be slow, but today... Uh, who wants to roll a d8 for me? Okay. Yeah, nobody. All, All right, right go. Go for it. Chaos. Let the chaos reign. Chaos. All right, yeah. Five. After five hours of grueling travel, you reach a plateau. Uh, you're pretty the high morale up. or in the in the, <laughs> the land. <laughs> the pla yeah, <laughs> we plateaued. We 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 plateaued a long time ago. <laughs> uh, Nibby is quite tired from being the snowplow. Uh, the higher you get, the less snow there is because the wind has now picked up and smacks you in your face on this plateau right around. Two, three o'clock, uh, you notice you're on top of the world looking down on the creation. creation. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the high peaks uh, are not so high at this location. Uh, you can look around. Uh, the snow is quite covering everything up here. Everybody roll investigation at disadvantage. Eighteen. Uh, All right, investigation, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. At disadvantage. Twelve. Yeah. Um, okay. Eight plus five. What is that? Fourteen? Olive. Uh, only Camille notices the strange shapes in the snow are not made by nature, 
but made by something else. Uh, Camille, you notice that uh, there appear to be buildings carved out of the plateau rock face that surround, or the rock face that uh, <laughs> surrounds the plateau. Uh, only it is not like human size. Oh, I knew that was coming. It's more like frost giant buildings built into what you're starting to wonder if this is a caldera or not. Mm. Right. Uh, because the mountains aren't straight, they're, they're kind out. of edged out. Right. Uh, as you look at this, everybody hears uh, Nasta. Nasta? Nasta, and it comes from Nibby, who is looking around in awe because he got a nat 20. He knows what this place is. Well, I asked Nibby, what the fuck is this place? Ross Giants. Ouch. And you're Ouch. happy about this? No, he's uh, not. <laughs> you got a high roll. You notice that these buildings are abandoned. Ah. Okay. Uh, if you point them out to Zadar and Daphne, they will also realize that it doesn't appear as though there were any inhabitants in these structures for a very long time. Most of the structures are, however, covered in snow. So if uh, it goes OK with the weather, maybe the snow up here will start to melt sooner than later because the sun is beating down upon you. Uh, who wants to roll the D12 against me for this afternoon's weather report? Anyone? Anyone? All right, I'll do it. 12. Four. Uh, the sun will remain the rest of the day. Uh, do you want to examine Nasta or continue on? Um, Nibby will... Probably examine? Uh, you notice that this whole plateau dog legs east. Mm. Okay. Um... All right, so I guess uh, take a lucky loo around and see what we can see. We will investigate Nasta next time, uh, even though we started a little late. Uh, I'm tired. I'm a man. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Daphne slash Caitlin, what'd you think? It's good. I wasn't expecting so many fights per se but i also was fully expecting fights and no rest so i was like yeah we're gonna die someone's gonna die <laughs> it was i close. almost died I was gonna <laughs> say, it was close I, I thought i came close to you guys uh zadar aka david what'd you think uh i enjoyed it the encounters were challenging you know so but it, it was good it was good the fact the wolves i feel like almost killed us and then those like monkey guys we killed instantly. Uh, the wolves were six. The monkeys were four. Oh, okay. Oh, that so is that when when it's even numbers like that, it's way easier to handle. Gotcha. Uh, slash carry. What'd you think? I just want to find the stinky. <laughs> that that sounded bad in so many ways. <laughs> and... I'm sad because he's our friend. Yeah, so we gotta find what's his name? Like Ulrich? Ulrich. Mm -hmm. Odic. Odic the stinky. Odic the stinky. Yeah. So uh but yeah, I think you guys are doing well. I every once in a while though I come much closer to fucking killing you guys. Yeah. So, that yeah. was horrible. Well I'll just remember, uh no risk, no reward. Uh and so far the only reward you guys have gotten are Nice warm cloaks that are keeping the frost away from you. And you the steaks cloaks. that we can eat pretty. that are cold. Yeah, yeah. Well, the They're steaks are done. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys can uh, dink around here uh, the rest of day three. Uh, and and Nibby's kind of do. a tool. Yeah. Well, you know, Nibby's an adolescent boy. You're lucky he's not <laughs> tossing off every ten minutes. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, teenagers! Yeah. Right, Teen- Weezer. Teenage boy. He's gonna he's gonna take a four hour long shower for no apparent yeah, reason. for no apparent reason. <laughs> he doesn't know what a shower is. That's true. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. the Cacophony Edition. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot, like not this Saturday, unfortunately, maybe next Thursday, uh, or on the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Don't forget our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, maker of custom dice. Hit them up to see if uh, they can help you out. Also, oddfishgames.com, makers of Adventure Sense. Uh-huh. Uh, how to RPG with your cat, and of course, the Shine System, so that you can write much more gooder than me. Uh, don't forget the big news uh, Murder Hobo Con. Um, yes. Take a look at it. August 1st. It's a Sunday. It is a charity convention. Uh, a little bit of 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. MurderHoboCon.com. Looking for DMs, GMs, seminars, and panelists to start the ball a rolling. So if you want to do that for the cause of the American Cancer Society, please sign up. Uh, at tabletop events you can hit that up from our website murderhobocon.com folks for all of us here at murder hobo inc uh thanks for joining us we will see you saturday for a one shot uh let's do the kiss and wave and then we can do the two advertisements bye everybody